Aries, welcome to your second half of November of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading, I was guided to the Gateway Oracle Deck by Denise Lynn. Okay, it's time to clear the clutter. Whether this is in your environment, whether this has to do with your thoughts, it is time for the renewing of your life. Okay, so we've been talking about this number seven year of 2023, where what you put your effort into indeed will open doorways towards triumph for you. The number eight year of 2024 is going to be this awareness of one's personal power. There's going to be financial gain, achievements, awards, status. So the accomplishments of certain goals, which are going to change the direction or the quality of the collective's journey moving forward. Yes, so Spirit is advising the collective Aries to continue to plant seeds, to practice your ideas, to focus on your projects, and so on. For in relation to another or others, we have this savoring, pleasurable energy, uh, fully embracing one's life because they did plant some seeds, some projects and ideas, and now they're coming into an awareness here. Uh, wow, that it's time for a wonderful new beginning, starting fresh, creating a fresh new uh, circumstance, situation, connection, or direction. So someone could actually be packing things up to start fresh, to start a wonderful new beginning, coming into an awareness that you planted the seeds of this success and now you're savoring the pleasure of this new start because of a connection to a person or group of people. So look at this, by the end of November for many of the collective Aries, there's going to come this awareness uh, that what you've been working towards, whatever action and effort you've been putting in is bringing in some form of awareness of your excellence, that you are exceeding the expectations of what it is you were desiring. So there are messages from spirit coming in emotionally clear messages if you will watch for the signs uh, and trust that whatever pleasurable information comes, yes indeed. Not only is it exceeding your expectations, but there is an awareness here that spirit has played a big part in this. So there's a nudge to definitely share of who you are. Uh, be a generous, caring, loving, giving person. Uh, so the seeds they're planting that will take off this year or have are uh, helping others, uh, coming up with healing uh, things like yoga or, you know, essential oils or whatever. Spirit's saying, if you don't know what you're meant to be creating at this time, now's the time to share parts of yourself uh, that you know um, are your soul's purpose. So day to day, we have this opening of the collective's heart chakra because there is something whereby you are starting fresh. And spirit saying, travel if necessary into the direction of sharing all of who you are. So we do have some form of communication, maybe messages going back and forth here in the emotional aspects position and spirit saying, open up your heart. It's time to start fresh. It's start, time to clear the clutter of the past thoughts, worries, and fears. For spirits giving the collective the strength uh, to trust that uh, as you continue to work towards taking action and a, an awareness of a new beginning where you're exceeding your expectations, just proceed uh, softly. Uh, enjoy quiet moments of solitude. Uh, watch for the signs again from spirit. Spirit's trying to guide the collective into the direction where your heart chakra can um, light up once again. Okay, so there's a message here to uh, launch your journey. Again, this could be traveling. Um, and I see luggage. So some may be planning a journey and spirit saying share of yourself or you have a beautiful radiance of light that shines from within you. Yes. And now is the time to make a difference. Oh my goodness. The past is being healed. 
So uh, trust your intuition. Watch for the signs. He keeps saying, watch for the signs. Follow your bliss for eventually you are going to be breaking certain barriers. Uh, this could be barriers that you put upon yourself, like we saw on the 13th, the new moon. It's an intensely magical time where people can create a new slate, a new chapter in their life. Yeses are arriving so at some point, there's this letting go of the past because one is taking action to enthusiastically embrace life's poss uh, 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 boundless possibilities. Yeah, someone's going to be dwelling in the light of this is indeed what I was meant to do. And spirit saying, accept this. Uh, we're giving you the courage uh, to fly free from your worries and concerns. Watch for the signs, right? Because you're going to continue to rise uh, in this energy of magic. Some aren't even going to believe the magic that is abounding in their life, that they're ready to travel into the direction of something very joyful here. And look at Spirit saying, expect these miracles to unfold in the second half of November Aries. Miracles are blossoming, and at some point, uh, there's going to be this desire to share some good news with others. So that could be what this is about. Uh, this could also be, I'm communicating within the depths of my being. I'm helping, guiding, loving, or I'm opening my heart once again to start fresh in the area of love. So there's this cultivating of prosperity, Spirit saying eventually uh, the seeds that you've been planting in the thoughts position are going to bring this prosperity that's going to exceed your expectations. Now, prosperity isn't always just money. It's I'm feeling like I'm living a very prosperous life. Okay, so I'm going to actually confirm and clarify uh, this reading with the, whoops, with the Tarot of Dreams deck by Lee Burstyn. Oops, I left one card behind here. A yes, a wish come true. So, you know, this new moon is a big deal. Um, on the 13th, it's like shortly after that, there's just this energy from spirit, messages from spirit uh, to trust that uh, as you stay focused and not give up, your goals are going to bring a lot of meaning. Do not underestimate yourself, uh, for you will be able to overcome any hurdles with confidence. Have faith in your dreams. It's a time of creative manifestation. Look at, I shuffled and shuffled and shuffled, and they're saying, yes, indeed, a wish has come true, maybe on the new moon of uh uh, the 13th of November, uh, or this is what Spirit's saying, renew and prepare because a wish is coming and uh, it's coming as a result of the seeds you've been planting, uh, if only in your thoughts. But I feel like there's definitely been a call to action and now there's this reflection. Yes. Uh, so there's this awareness coming to mind uh, that it is indeed a magical time, that wishes are indeed coming true and that the seeds you've been planting wherever, however you've been, what you've been working towards is leading towards an opportunity to celebrate with family and friends. So in the relationship sector, there is this uh, Eight of Pentacles energy. There is a nudge from spirit to continue to research what is unfolding here for some in the area of finance, career, or money, or even things of the material, the celebration of a home with the four of uh, wands, 1111, the angels have helped to guide you towards this opportunity where you are researching something in relation to abundance here. Savor the pleasure and the bliss that's unfolding. So this could be happening for water energies, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or this is someone you are in connection with. But this is what Spirit's saying is uh, it's time for a wonderful new beginning. Again, you're going to feel very intuitive when it comes to the direction you are creating for yourself. You're going to recognize that your heart chakra is opening up and that you can now renew your life. You can start a new chapter. So we have the devil, and I've been seeing like the devil and the magician. Um, this is fear, is what I'm feeling with this energy. I was stuck or trapped or feeling stuck or trapped in a situation, and now what I have been taking action towards is exceeding my expectations. Uh, it could be that spirit saints say yes to this fresh start that you have created. 
uh, continue to follow the messages from spirit. Even if someone comes towards you with this unhealthy energy, I think there's going to be a lot of uh, jealousy or envy here for those who have acknowledged a fresh start in their life. So, oh, beautiful. So there's a lot of passion and excitement with the Queen of Wands energies, male or female. This is about I'm setting and meeting goals day to day. I'm conquering them. I'm continuing to set and meet more goals because I know that I know that the seeds I've been planting are taking root, uh, that my efforts have paid off, and now I'm looking at a fresh start. Subconsciously, we have the Nine of Wands. So Spirit's saying, keep on keeping on. Continue to share of yourself, of your purpose. For we have uh, someone's heart opening up in relation maybe to a Sagittarius and or just this balance here. Spirit saying day to day as you set to meet goals, we're going to give you the energy to go with the flow, to open your heart to a fresh start, uh, to enjoy the radiance and the bliss of that which is coming to light here. So this is what's coming to light. Ten of Cups, great emotional fulfillment. A happily ever after, sharing uh, good emotions, excitement with family and friends, and spirits are saying we're giving the collective Aries the strength to slow down and proceed softly, right? Because there are some things maybe that you just need to go over, but don't give up. This is definitely a gift from the universe. Something showing up unexpectedly, where again, there could involve travel, but there's this going into the direction of the Ace of Wands. A brand new path, a new exciting direction, a path uh, having to do with home or business. Yeah, there could be indecision here between one financial situation or the other, one material situation or another, like a home, uh, a vehicle. Um, yeah, and so people from the past may show up. Uh, I do feel like there could be uh, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or you're thinking about your children now because you're researching something that has to do with money. Uh, you have transformed, you have grown, you have evolved, and now it's time to give birth to a brand new path of success. So success is coming to the mind of this collective Aries energy and there is the researching very slowly this positive news regarding money with the page of coins. Yeah, someone may be closed closing their heart off uh, because of this success, but Spirit saying, you know, uh, be honest and, and appreciate all that you have and who you have in your life. Uh, because of this unexpected good news. Yeah, someone may be thinking about walking away from one path and going into the direction of a new path in the area of home or business. There we have that indecision. Which path, which direction am I most passionate about now that a new opportunity has come to mind here? So something may come to mind. Uh, let's see if I can get a number... I cannot. Let's see. So there could be legal paperwork, but there's a lot of playful energy here going excitedly into the direction of abundance. Oh my gosh, we have the king and queen of coins. So there is a soul connection here where the two of you were meant to go into a path of abundance. Uh, and uh, yeah, spirit saying the attention and recognition that is coming your way is coming to help free you from the three of swords, sadness, heartache, regret. So they're saying we're helping the collective to launch a new journey so that they can let go and surrender to the ebb and flow of this joyous new life. Wow. So I'm actually going to confirm and clarify. Oh, I don't know where I put that deck. Oh, it's over here. With the Archangel Michael Sword of Light Oracle deck. Confirmation, clarification, any additional spiritual messages regarding the circle spread we have previously discussed for the collective Aries in the second half of November. Yeah, open up to your spiritual gifts. Help, care, give, provide, support others. Remember, your true nature is spiritual. Uh, the angels are sending you messages, right? to guide you and your soul's growth at this time. 
So there's something really exciting coming to mind, a complete transformation and awareness and manifestation of an opportunity uh, as a result of your efforts. And Spirit is saying, don't settle for less, okay? Uh, research what's available to you in the relationship sector to another or others and trust that this fresh start is actually a, a blessing from your angels. So for those of you at the planting seeds energy in the thoughts position, spirit saying the prayers you have made uh, are continuing continuing to bring messages from spirit uh, regarding a wish come true. Trust in your angels, continue to pray from the heart and trust that change as well is coming. It's a time for change with this number seven year of 2023 that's been a popular card as of late so spirit saying let us guide you through this exciting transformation for this is a time of joyous uh, opportunities so let me know what that represents to you thank you again to those of you who've come to me for yearly readings already or who have gifted them to others uh, I just, if you're new, wanted to let you know that I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comment section. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute one-month video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for your likes, your shares, and those subscribes but most importantly to those of you who have continued to donate to this channel to keep it up and running day to day take care and god bless